the deer are here. What's up, pretty girl? What are you doing? deer content racking up here on the channel man plenty of videos of me feeding the deer if you want to see more go back and check out some of my older videos you can see me pet this deer right here she don't care i have to hold the camera right now but What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm back in the kitchen today for another cooking video. Let's get right into it. I would like to mention that this recipe is loosely based off a video that I watched from Sam the Cooking Guy. It's a really cool cooking channel that I like to watch sometimes. I just took his recipe and tweaked it, but I would like to give him credit. So if you like this recipe, chances are you'll like his as well. I'll put the link to his video down below in the video description. But let's get started. All right, guys, in today's video, we're gonna do Mongolian beef, and this is everything you're gonna need for the recipe. It's pretty simple, really basic. So I got a piece of skirt steak right here, some fresh cloves of garlic, fresh ginger, third cup of water, some sesame oil. This is optional, but it's some hot organic Worcestershire sauce that I got, um, and I really like this stuff. This is You can leave this out if you don't have this. Uh, you're gonna need some soy sauce, some sort of non-flavored cooking oil to have vegetable oil here, salt, pepper, and then a little, uh, this is a little sesame blend, everything but the bagel. It's pretty good on a, you know, Asian style meat dishes, so we're gonna use this as well. You're also gonna need a couple tablespoons of brown sugar, or if you're trying to stay keto, a brown sugar substitute such as this. This is Truvia Stevia Brown Sugar Blend. So this is what I'm gonna use. I forgot to mention it, but I'm cutting it in right here to remind you that you also need brown sugar or a brown sugar substitute to do this recipe. But let's get right into it. All right, guys, I'm gonna start out here by just uh, dicing this garlic up. I'm gonna take these fresh cloves and cut them down into strips and then dice them into the small pieces of the can so that we can saute these bad boys. The difference between using fresh garlic and not fresh garlic would be astronomical. So yeah, I'm just gonna go like that. Now that I gotta kinda cut into strips, I can just take it and start running down like that right there. Get it nice and diced. It's looking pretty good, so we'll move on to the ginger. Got a piece of fresh ginger here. I'm just gonna cut the sides off of it. You can use a peeler and peel it, but a little bit of ginger goes a long way. So I should be able to just cut the edges off of this and dice what's left. Have plenty of flavor. All right, so there's what I'm left with after I cut the edges off. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way, so that'll be plenty. Thank you. 
again, we're looking for minced garlic and ginger here. Not chopped, minced, perfect. Fresh diced garlic and ginger root. Now that we got those out of the way, we can prepare the meat. As always, I'm gonna grab some of these black latex rubber gloves over here. Let's get it. So this is just a piece of uh, skirt steak. It's a cheap cut, you can get at any grocery store. But we're gonna turn it in to something really nice today. A lot of times when you get it, it's gonna have this membrane on the back, you're gonna need to take that off. A lot of, uh, a lot of butchers don't remove it. But we're gonna remove it today because we want this beef to be nice and tender. So you can kind of grab a hold of it, get up under it with your knife, pull up as much as you can at one time and sort of just go down the piece and it'll come up right like that. You see that? That membrane just coming right up. And just go as shallow as you can with your knife and get off as big of chunks as you can at one time. Take your time, go slow, it'll come off. Just try not to get too deep into that red meat. Keep pulling up, let the knife do the work and you'll be good. So that's all I'm gonna do is just clean this up, get that membrane off the back, make this that much more enjoyable to eat. Running my knife right under the, right on the underside of that. Stuff we don't want. Comes right up, no problem. Look at that coming right up, no problem. Nobody wants to eat that. You don't wanna go through all the trouble of making this recipe and not clean your meat up the best you can. Whether you're cooking for yourself or cooking for guests, man. You're taking the time to do this. Let's take the time and do it right. So that's just about all the membrane. There's a little piece left right there. Go ahead and pull that up. That's all the membrane off of that bad boy. Simple as that, man. Just took a minute or two. A Little bit of extra time it goes a long way. It's a big thick chunk of fat right here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that out as well. We won't be cooking this meat long enough for any big chunks of fat to be rendering down. So it's okay for us to take stuff like this off if we want to. If you like fatty meat, leave it on. Personally, I just prefer to remove it because I don't eat that. There we go. That's a, a pretty nice cleaned up piece of skirt steak right there. Go back on this other side. If you see any leftover pieces of fat that you don't want, pull those off as well. Clean that up as nice as you want, man. Like I said, take your time. Make this best you can. All right, we got her cleaned up pretty well there. Season this piece of meat and get on with it. Since we're gonna be cooking this meat in a Mongolian marinade in the wok over here, I'm just gonna keep the seasoning simple. Crushed salt and pepper on this meat, that's it. And that's gonna be it as far as dry seasoning goes on this piece of steak. Just a little salt and pepper, get that flavor going. A little foundation, and we're gonna build off of that. All right guys, what we're gonna do now is get our wok heated up. We want that nice and hot. We're gonna start by sauteing our garlic and ginger and a little bit of vegetable oil, and then we're gonna add the rest of our marinade to the pan before we add the beef. While you're letting your wok heat up, what you can do is you can slice the skirt steak into two pieces. Then you wanna go against the grain and just cut into bite-sized strips. Like chopstick size strips. Just like that. Perfect. Against the grain, remember, against the grain. All right, there's that. Now we got our beef all sliced up. We got our wok heated up. We got garlic and ginger freshly diced over here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into the pan with some vegetable oil so I can get this garlic and ginger going. That's plenty. Oh yeah, that's the sound we wanna hear. I'm just gonna grab this up, throw it in. And we don't wanna burn this. 
Just gotta let it saute, let it get aromatic, let you smell it a little bit. As soon as those flavors start wafting up, you can really smell that stuff cooking. That's when you're gonna wanna start adding other ingredients. Give that a nice little toss in there. You just want a little sear on this. Very important not to burn it. So what you want to do is stay ready. First thing we're going to add, a third cup of water and about the same amount of soy sauce. Just water and soy sauce. I'm also going to go ahead and add just a splash of my hot Worcestershire sauce. That ought to do it. One ingredient that I forgot that you're going to need is this brown sugar uh, substitute right here from Trubia. So as soon as it starts boiling, move it off the heat for a second. You wanna add a good little helping of this brown sugar substitute, just to sweeten it up a little bit. This is stevia, so it's not sugar. A little goes a long way. Get that back over there. And you just wanna stir that in and incorporate that brown sugar substitute into this. I apologize that I didn't, I didn't mention, you will need that. Or you can just use regular brown sugar. I'm on a ketogenic diet, so I try to keep everything keto. If you're not doing that, no worries, man. You can just use regular brown sugar, but I'm using a brown sugar substitute today. About two tablespoons for the entire mix here. Now we're just gonna let a little bit of that water cook off. And we're gonna go in, final ingredient, just a little bit of sesame oil. Now remember, this is super strong. A little bit goes a long way. You don't wanna overpower it. So that's all we're gonna do with that right there. Incorporate that really quick. You're gonna start smelling that. You start smelling those aromas. It's gonna fill the whole room. And once you have it to that level, just grab your beef and go in. I already took my glove off. Boom. Constantly clean and wash as you go. That's my tip. Get that spread out a little bit and just let that start cooking. Roll your heat up a little bit because that meat's gonna drop the temperature in the pan. But this is what we want. We just want to saute this meat in this little Mongolian flavor mixture that we have going right here. And trust me, when it gets done, it's gonna be on point. Check it out, guys. Beef's in there. It's cooking away, sort of like halfway between a stew and a fry, you know? You're gonna have a lot of sauce left over. You're gonna incorporate that back into the dish. You can eat it by itself with rice, cabbage, whatever you want to do. We're just gonna let this roll, and then once that gets nice and seared on that side, we're gonna flip that beef, steady move it around, keep it rolling. It's gonna be nice and tender when we get done. That beef will start cooking so fast. Just let that ginger and that garlic incorporate. Turn your heat down, and slow simmer it from this point on. You just want a nice, slow simmer. She's on her way now, boys. Beef's cooking up. Keep it rolling. That's pretty much it as far as the hard part goes, guys. You just cook it until the beef is done and then let it cool down. That sauce will thicken back up. You can add it back into your dish. Can't wait to try this, man. It's gonna be really good. It's getting close now, guys. You can see a lot of that liquid is cooked down. Beef starting to stick out of the marinade a little bit more and more and more, starting to soak up all that juice. It's pretty much done now. We'll just let it slowly roll off a cook, let that simmer down a little bit more. And this will be done. We'll be ready to plate this up and try it. Slowly simmering down. I got the burner off. I'm getting ready to plate this bad boy. I'll show you what she looks like in the dish. Let's get it. All right, guys. Back over here on this countertop with a freshly washed cutting board and knife. I'm a big believer in clean as you go, so I'm constantly doing that. Got everything cleaned up. I'm going to show you how I plate this beef here. Got a little fresh cabbage, a little green onion that I just washed off. And I'll just show you how I plate this stuff up, man. I'm also going to add some of this yellow bird, blue agave sriracha, delicious hot sauce to top it all off, along with my everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. And that should make us a pretty delicious, healthy, keto, Mongolian beef dish here, man. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, I'm gonna take a little of my shredded cabbage mix here. This is just a little pre-made 
freshly shredded cabbage that I got from my local grocery store, nothing special. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that cabbage and put it down in the bottom of one of these bowls. Man, not too much, just uh, enough to throw that beef on top of, give it a little texture and a little more flavor. I like fresh cabbage. You can leave this out if you don't. You can use rice, noodles, whatever you want, man. I'm trying to keep this keto, so I'm gonna go with the cabbage today. Next, we'll come over here to our beef. And we'll grab us a little helping of this and just throw it right on top of the cabbage like that, man. I haven't eaten it all today. I've been doing intermittent fasting. It's five o'clock and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna plate me up a nice healthy bowl like that right there. Back over here to the cutting board. As you can see, I got some green onions here that I just rinsed off. I'm gonna go ahead and just dice these up. You don't need much. It's just gonna be a little, a little topping, another little layer of flavor and texture. Perfect. Take some of our green onion and just sprinkle that on top like that. Now I'm gonna take my everything but the bagel, sesame seasoning. Put a little sprinkle sprinkle of that on there. It's got some sesame seeds and some other stuff in there. I'm not sure, but it's good, especially on Asian dishes like this. And then last but not least, man, the yellow bird blue agave sriracha. This stuff is absolutely delicious. All of the yellow bird hot sauces are. I recommend them if you haven't tried them. I'm gonna throw on just a little bit of that to top her off. And there she is, man. The keto Mongolian beef dish. My interpretation of Sam the Cooking Guy's Mongolian beef. This is the keto friendly version. No corn starch, no noodles, no rice. Try this out. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, click like, consider subscribing. I put out new videos all the time, not just cooking videos. All kinds of content going down over here on the channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much, man. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about the recipe. And other than that, man, if you try this, let me know. And let me know, uh, let me know how it turned out. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next video, man. It'll be really soon. Peace. All right, this part will be for the people that made it to this far in the video. I'm actually gonna eat some of it on camera. I uh, haven't tasted it yet. Could be horrible, but we're gonna try it together. I'm gonna let you guys know my honest opinion. How did this turn out? How does it look, man? Would you guys take a bite? A little cabbage, a little Mongolian beef, some hot sauce, sesame seeds, some other seasonings. It's gonna be good, man. Let's try it. I'm gonna go down below, get some of that fresh cabbage up there. Stir it around a little bit. Bruh, the flavor is so on point. The ginger and the garlic, perfectly like sauteed, coming through. The spicy sriracha sets it off. You got the soy sauce and the sweet from the brown sugar substitute. The crunch from the cabbage, a little green onion in there. Man, this is good stuff. Let's try it again. Cheers. Man, it's so good. Excuse me, talking with a mouthful. Rude. Be honest with me, man. Do you guys like the cooking videos? Should I do more of them or should I stop doing them? I'll be honest with you. It'd be pretty hard to stop. I really enjoy cooking. I really enjoy trying out new recipes and new flavors. And, uh, making healthy dishes that taste amazing like this so that I can try to help myself. Maybe some of you guys out there lose a little weight while you're at it, eating good and losing weight. It's hard to beat that combination. So anyways, I'm gonna get on with my meal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Mm, that's my lunch. It's so good.